when students log into Naviance, they will see a home page like this. Home page will look a little different depending on the grade level. Juniors and seniors will see rep visit information down here in the corner as well as have access to that within the menu under colleges. First, we're going to start with the college information. So I'm gonna select here and I'm going to, going to go to college home. Once here, we'll start by searching a, up a school. So I'm gonna type in Indiana University. And we'll see there's actually a few different Indiana universities, but in particular, I'm gonna take a look at the Indiana University in Bloomington. We'll select that college and the information will appear on the screen. Please note if you heart the school, you will get an email notification when the rep schedules their rep visit at Stevenson. Often we will tell students if you want to communicate directly with the rep, you can go into Naviance and you can select this communicate button and you can get in touch with, in touch with your college contact or send admission just to the general admissions office here. Within the overall college page for Indiana University and all other colleges, you will see videos and pictures, but in particular we want you to see this yellow section. This section will be the comments that Mr. Miller, Ms. English type in from the college rep visit or if they go to a visit on the campus directly with all the information that they receive from that session. So if students do miss the college rep visit for any reason, we will update the notes within here as well. Another area that we want to highlight within here would be the admissions page. This is where you're going to see what we call those infamous scattergrams that we talk about, where you can see the historical Stevenson data from the past few years of seniors and if they've been admitted or denied or deferred at an institution. We do always tell families to toggle over to the SAT that's going to have the more current data. If you want to use an ACT score, you can just use the corresponding score on the correspondence charts that are out there. Each of these points are students that have applied in the past few years and shows that they've been admitted, denied, or deferred to that particular institution. Also under this college tab, you will see that there is an advanced college search. So students can pick preferences they have. So if they're looking at a four-year school um, in a um, larger city, um, let's say they're looking at admissions that is not super selective. Um, let's say they're taking a look at a particular major. They can pick the major within there and they can view the matches and then see more information at the schools that they have come back from that search. In addition, under this college menu will be enrichment programs. So any enrichment program that we receive from a college or an institution will be put in here with all the dates and links in there so students can access all the data and the information from the enrichment programs that happen over the summer. Also under this college tab, we want to show the scholarship search information. And again, any scholarships that come across our desk, we do put them in this as well. So we do encourage students to check every couple of weeks or so to see if there's any new scholarships in there. Some students really want to see the scattergrams for University of Illinois, Urbana-Champaign, and because we have so many students that apply to University of Illinois, we actually handle that scattergram a little differently. Students would select the caret next to their initials and would select Document Resources. Once there, you'll see we have University of Illinois admissions by college, and so each one of these represents a different college, and it has just one year's worth of data. So if you wanted to see what the College of Engineering scattergram looked like for the last year's class, we will pull that up and I'll put that in my window for you to see. And you would see that this information um, is in here uh, for you to view and see by the one year. Next up, we want to highlight some of the career pieces that can be utilized in Naviance. We do have a self-discovery page where you will see there are a multitude of different career interest inventories that students can take. They vary in length and vary in their strengths. Some are off of students' preferences, off of students' values and work ethics, and off their interests. So students can take a variety of these to kind of see what careers might match up with them. In the career section, students will notice a couple of different pieces in here as well. Um, students can explore careers in here and they can select a career, a career that they might be interested in. 
um, or type one in. So let's just pick aerospace engineers for this moment. Within here, students can see the overview, the skills and experiences that comes along with this job, the wages, and you can actually click on the wages throughout the state, uh, the various states, um, and um, it breaks it down by salary and hour. Um, also within here, students can favor the career as well. Back on the overview page, if we scroll down to the related major section and we select this link, it will then take us back to that advanced college search so students can look at colleges that have that particular major. And you can see how Naviance interacts with the different sides of it. So we do encourage our families to utilize Naviance and all the aspects of it and hope that you find this very helpful.